Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. <clears throat> a lot of hype around the task-driven autonomous agents realm. You got baby AGI, you got auto GPT, and they all look very cool. Thus far though, until today, I hadn't seen anything that was more than a toy example or that you know was indicative that something more advanced was going to happen. I, I sort of knew it would, but today it kind of has taken that step where Langchain has been incorporated. But as a high level, let's go ahead and take a look at Baby, Baby API and see what it is. And um, I encourage you to take a look at the repo and the original thread by the creator. So it's really just a simple Python program that uses language models to, based on an input, create a task list of what the user wants to accomplish and what sort of tasks need to be done in order to accomplish that. Execute, notice the air quotes, one of those tasks, save the results somewhere, I think uh, vine, pine cone here, we're not going to use pine cone, but p save them and then use those results to create new tasks, reprioritize, do a task, then go do it all over again. Okay. Now let's go ahead and jump over to Langchain, which is I think sort of uh, the next step in this. And they mentioned these three chains that are required. Okay. So as I said, and I was doing air quotes before the previous execution chain, it was just an LLM, which made stuff up. So that's why, you know, when I first ran baby AGI, it didn't seem that useful. It, it was just a toy example. Okay. But now it's sort of a next level, I believe. So by swapping out, by swapping out that uh, execution chain with an agent that has access to tools, we can hopefully get reliable information. So now the thing is going out into the real world. It can search stuff. It can execute things for real. It's not, you know, an autonomous assistant just yet, but that's probably where it's going to end up in a year or two. It'll be very, very useful. So I'm not going to go through all the docs and, uh, you know, explain every single one of these cells. I've taken all of these and put them in a notebook to basically run this example that they have. But let's take a look here. The three chains that it relies on, the task creation chain to select new tasks to add to the list, the task prioritization chain, and the execution chain. Okay, so the good folks over at Langchain have put together this example and I've taken the, and as I've said, I've taken these and put them in the notebook. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take a look at what's over there. We're going to need two API keys. We're going to need the OpenAI, obviously, and the SERP API key to search Google. So you're going to import some requirements, get a vector store started. I'm going to use the uh, Facebook one. That's the one that they're using in uh, the Langchain example. <clears throat> you can go ahead and install it. You can use whatever you want. In Baby AGI, they use Pinecone. Let's go ahead and take a look at just really quickly the, the chains. So we got the task creation chain. You can check out the prompt for it the prioritization chain, which is going to shuffle them around and figure out which one it wants to do next. And then the <clears throat> execution chain. Okay. And this is where we pass in the tools. So I've given it the search, which is a, uh, can I use the SERP, SERP API? And then some, a couple of uh, helper functions and the main controller here. And you can see, we're just going to jump over to the loop. And I know everybody hates these where you just sort of go over the code and don't explain it, but it's been documented. So I'm not going to waste anyone's time. It goes over the loop and here are the three things it's going to do. Pull the first task, execute it, store the results in a vector store, create the new tasks and reprioritize. And it's going to keep doing that for max iterations. And that's a very important argument that we're going to use here because otherwise the thing will keep going forever and you will fund open AI forever. <laughs> It'll cost you a lot of money. So uh, I'm going to move down here. Let's see. I tried a couple times. I got rate limited a couple times, but basically what I, uh, here's, I think the last one I said, Hey, create a trip around the U S with three stops where there's warm weather. Okay. And when I ran it, it says, okay, task list, make a to-do list. That's the first one. I need to determine what tasks need to be done. Okay, create a trip around the US, great. Some things that uh, it's outputting, which is going to help the new task list. Research the three places. And here, let's take a look at this task, li task list here. Now, when it gets to the part where it's booking stuff, that's where I think it's very cool. Okay, so you'll either give it an API keys, and I know people at OpenAI are working in uh, with, with travel companies or whatever to create plugins to do this. But that's really when this is going to take the next level, right? And you've got basically an autonomous assistant here that can, that can do stuff for you. So 
I gave it four iterations so it doesn't run forever. And as you'll see, it got to the stage of it found some places. I'm sorry, this is the one where uh, the Adriatic Sea. Okay, so that's not that's not uh, great. But let me go to the one where I used GPT-4. I think it was here. GPT-4 gave me some destinations. Where did it want me to go? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Sorry. It wanted me to go to, gave me some places, Disney, um, Sedona. Anyway, it go ahead, it, it creates these tasks, finds places you want to go. It'll tell you if you need to get visas or documentation or get vaccines, whatever. It'll find you how to get around. Anyway, the thing is this, it keeps adding tasks, right? So it just keeps reprioritizing what it needs to do. It adds more tasks, etc. The problem here obviously is that it goes off the rail. Sometimes it doesn't do uh, sort of concretely what it should do because that's just what it does. So it'd be cool if there was a little bit of input and I'm sure someone smarter than me is going to figure this out. Give it a little bit of input in the middle so that you can guide it a little bit, right? Use some of the some of the tools with Langchain to, to sort of say, hey, do this, do that, whatever. Maybe at some point when we have stronger models, it'll know not to do weird things or not to reprioritize stuff that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, that's where we are. Um, I will check out Auto GPT, but I think that previous to today, these were just sort of toy examples, but now... Let's see, at some point it recommended that I go to San Diego, Sedona, Desert, and Miami. So you can see it, it sort of is looking up stuff on the internet. It's looking up transportation methods. Now, as, as opposed to a week or two ago, it's using the outside world and not just making stuff up when it executes, which I think is the really cool part. Still some drawbacks. It's not perfect. It really you know, doesn't accomplish realistic tasks as well as you want it to, and it kind of just goes forever. But go ahead and run it yourself. Let me know your thoughts. I think it's very cool and it gives you a glimpse into where we're headed with this, which is very exciting, very exciting times. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.